We're here with Kyle Welch today with uh, Guitar Picks. He selected 20 songs for us. Can you tell us basically how you came up with your list? Well, when you asked me to do the interview, I sat down and said, well, okay, 20 songs. What's the easiest way to come up with that? So I dissected actually my life as a guitar player and said, okay, well, how did I get turned on to, to music in the first place? And I, I just remember, you know, of course the influence comes a lot from your parents and the stuff that my, my dad was listening to. He used to listen to the Zeppelin and the Stones and um, some folk artists. He liked um, Jim Croce, which I think is on the list. And, uh, you know, things, and, you know, the Beach Boys and things like that that I remember listening to growing up. So that was kind of like the first part. And then the second part was, well, how did I get turned on specifically to playing guitar? And then I, you know, so I started picking those songs out, which, you know, I came up, you know, Zeppelin and Van Halen and then things like that. And then just sort of how did I progress through, you know, learning things as I went into high school in, you know, the early 90s, of, you know, listening to Megadeth and Metallica and, and pretty hard rock. And then as I graduated high school and went to college to study music, my taste got a little more uh, sophisticated. More refined. More refined, maybe. Ah. And uh, so, you know, there's some things at the end of the list and then sort of where I am now as a guitar player, which encompasses all of that. Okay. Uh, onto the list, uh, you don't mess around with Jim, Jim Croce. My father would always have Jim Croce records on. He was, he was a big fan of that, and, and as well as other stuff. And so, don't just mess around with Jim. I just remember the hook in that was great. I mean, not so much as, as a guitar player, but I just remember hearing it. It was a simple song, and you know, just driving, but you know, just hooky kind of songwriting, which which I thought that was great. Um, so, how old were you when, when you remember? Oh, uh, you don't mess around with Jim. Probably remember the first time hearing it. I was probably like ten or uh -huh. younger. You know, I just thought that the the chorus of that song, you know, was great and it told a story, which I which I always thought was was a neat thing because you went from beginning to end in three and a half minutes or less mm -hmm. and told a whole story. Whereas if you get music now, uh, one of the things that kind of makes me sad about music is you don't have that same kind of storytelling going on in uh -huh. in a lot of things. You mm -hmm. know, and, and and some of it you do. You kind of have to search to find it, but. That that to me was was really I thought was really cool. I was like, wow, well, three and a half minutes. That guy told me a whole story, <laughs> and and I was like, I, I can you know just want to learn how to you know how did he do that? And so I started. I was already studying music. I was, mm -hmm. started as a trumpet player in like the oh, in okay. the fifth grade and, and did that all the way through high school too. You know, but I, I said, wow, that, you know, there's only like a four or five piece band and it's more rocking and it's not like a big orchestra. And so I started focusing in on that. So what prompted you to kind of switch to from horn to guitar? Well. <laughs> For lack of a better word, the horn wasn't as cool. <laughs> when I was uh, when I was 15, I got a guitar for my birthday, uh -huh. and I had wanted one. And uh, my brother was already playing bass in a band, and I just thought that was, you know, the coolest thing since sliced bread. And so <laughs> my parents got me a guitar, and you know, just you know, when I heard, you know, bands that you know, hard rock, and I just thought, oh, wow, I want to learn to play guitar. And so that's kind of how I switched. Even though I did both instruments all the way through high school and then when I got out I did my first semester at UNCG mm -hmm. as a trumpet major mm -hmm. and then decided that really wasn't for me so left music school for a while and came back as a guitar major.